Hey, AG here with uh, Genius Square Trainings, the number one leader in genius generating technologies. Just want to give you a, uh, a clip of our past 101 Day Genius Mentorship Academy. And today's topic is on integrity, which is one of the founding principles of Genius Square Trainings. So just want to quickly go over uh, integrity and share a great story about Gandhi. And so there are three parts and really, you know, you are a genius and your genius is your gift and you have greatness inside you. You were born for greatness and by you not sharing your gift, you're actually stealing from the world because the world desperately needs to hear your message. So part one's more about awareness. Part two is designing your life around your genius so you do only what your genius at. And part three is so you can profit from your genius so you can make a living sharing your gifts and really making a difference and an impact in the world. So I wanna cover integrity, which is one of the four founding principles values of genius squared trainings and so there's two definitions in the dictionary one is consistency of actions values and principles so it's about consistency which is one of the laws of influences commitment and consistency and when you hear about integrity of a part like integrity of a car part it's about knowing that it can consistently perform and that's a huge part of integrity here and what, like, just like a car part, when a part is in integrity, that's when it's strong and it's flexible. When it's out of integrity, that's when it breaks and gets weaker. The second definition is the quality of having a sense of honesty and truthfulness with regards to motivations of one's actions. So this is where character is integrity plus discipline. And so those are the two things that define you as a person. Jim Rohn said, success is who you become. It's not what you have, it's not what you do, it's who you become in, along in the process in order to have those results because what you have and what you accomplish is just a byproduct of who you are. So I wanna share with you a quick story about Mahatma Gandhi and he is a genius we study in the Genius Mentorship Academy. And the two core principles, uh, we're covering integrity today and simplicity. Uh, genius is making the complex simple, and he led a simple life. Uh, as far as integrity, I want to share with you a story. So years and years ago, there was a poor woman in a rural village of India, and she had a son, and her son was getting sick from eating sugar, had a form of diabetes, and needed to stop eating sugar, otherwise he would die. So she had little options and thought, well, if anyone can save my son, it would be Gandhi. So she took, she, she took her stuff, went off with her son, and they traveled days and days and days by foot, by train, by any means necessary to go see Mahatma Gandhi. And once they got into Delhi to see Gandhi, the line was enormous. There are thousands and thousands, about 2,000 people waiting in line. So they uh, got to the end of the line and they waited and waited and hours went by. Now when they got to the front of the line, the mother addressed Gandhi and said, Gandhi, please help my son. Please make him stop eating sugar, otherwise he will lose his life. And Gandhi nodded and looked at the mom and said, return in three weeks. And so they left and traveled days back to get back home. Three weeks later, they went on that same trip where they walked many miles and, and gone through the train ride and then saw another long line where they waited hours and hours and hours. And as soon as they got up to the front of the line, the mother addressed Gandhi and said, remember us, we came here three weeks ago and we followed your orders and my son is here so he can stop eating sugar. Gandhi replied, very well, I do remember. Bring your boy up to the front. So she brings the boy up to front right in front of Gandhi and Gandhi looks straight into his eyes 
and states. Stop eating sugar. And he looks at the mom and says, your boy will no longer eat sugar again. Now the mom was a little confused, then got a little upset for all the work and all the time it took to get here and asked Mahatma Gandhi, Gandhi, with all due respect, we traveled days to get here and waited hours in line. Why couldn't you have told my boy to stop eating sugar three weeks ago? And Gandhi replied, three weeks ago, I was eating sugar. Be the change you wish to see in the world. If you want world peace, start with having peace in your own heart. If everyone had peace in their own, own heart inside, there would be no outer war. And so this is the power of congruency when you share your message to eat your own cooking and to live and do what you say. When you honor your words, when your words are congruent with your actions, that's when you tap into your core or be fully in your essence to your true power. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Anytime you do what you say, or do complete what you commit to or fulfill a promise internally you get stronger and vice versa anytime you don't do what you say or break a promise or not honor a commitment either to yourself or to someone else you get weaker so look at the questions right now What are some unfulfilled promises or commitments that you need to make right, either to yourself or the person who you made it to, to complete your incompletes? Go ahead and take a look at that right now because I promise you that somehow it's had a negative effect in your life. And in life, it's not so much adding new things to your tool belt that will improve the quality of your life. It's more getting rid of the things that don't work, to complete your incompletes, to clean up your messes. Because most of life's answers are simple. It may not be easy, but it is simple. So I hope you got some value. This was uh, from week two of the Genius Mentorship Academy, and it's only a small portion of the uh, of the week two training where we covered time management, integrity, um, and a bunch of other great stuff. So hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video and also the blog post below, uh, you know, please go ahead and comment, put a like it, you know, share it with others. Uh, it's a very profound story, and I hope you enjoyed it. So this is Ag Morishita with Genius Square Training signing off. Make it an outstanding day.